guys! Today I have a requested tutorial for you from a friend on Facebook. She wanted a retro look, so I came up with this very glam retro look. It looks super hard and complicated, but I don't think it is. To me it seems pretty easy. And you can totally change it up by adding a hot pink lip instead of red and putting your hair up in a sock bun to make it super girly. So yeah, I hope you give it a try. Most of all, I hope you have fun with it. And I hope I spread a little sparkle into your day. And thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys! As always, I'm starting off with a fresh face, and this is a sugar scrub that I made myself, and I will do a video soon on the different um, lip and body scrubs that I make, but it's a very easy mixture of coconut oil and sugar and a few other things to make it taste and smell yummy and look all pink and cute. So I'm just rubbing that on all over my lips to get any of the dead skin off and make sure our lips are ready for the red lipstick. Now I'm going to put some Burt's Bees chapstick over. It's my favorite. I feel like it works the best. And I've already used my moisturizer and my eye cream. And now I'm going to take Benefits Professionals and with both dabbing and swiping smoothing motions put that all over my face. You don't want to like really rub it in on your face because you'll overwork it and it won't work quite as well. Now I'm taking Max Pro Longwear Concealer on the back of my hand and I'm just going to dab that on my eyelids to prime my eyelids and cover up any veins, especially since we're not using very much eyeshadow. I didn't have my beauty blender by me so I was grabbing my Sigma Flat Top Kabuki brush to blend it in. It worked okay but my beauty, beauty blender works much better. Now I'm taking Max Painterly just to again prime the eyes and this also helps cover up any veins and stuff. And now I'm taking my Marc Jacobs palette. Since this was a glam look I felt like I should use my glam palette but you're really just looking for a matte brown, light brown color like this one. I'm going to use my e.l.f. shader brush and just place that all over my lid. I'm not being super precise or anything. I'm going to blend it way out because it's just kind of to contour our eye because the focus is going to be on our winged liner and our red lip. Now I'm taking the matte cream color from that same palette and just lightening it up a bit because it looked a little dark on my eyes. Now I'm taking Hoola Bronzer on my MAC 217 brush and just contouring the crease of my eye. You can use bronzer to contour your eye just like you do your face. Now I'm taking MAC Shroom and just placing that right underneath my brow as a highlight. And now for the face. I'm going to take my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and dab that all over my face and my Sigma Flat Top Kabuki brush and just blend it out. Since we're not doing a very intense eye look, we definitely want our skin to look pretty flawless and perfect because a lot of the focus will be on the skin. Now I'm taking Bare Mineral Stroke of Light. It has this doe foot applicator and I'm swiping that underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, a little on my forehead, on my cupid's bow, and my chin. And I'm just going to take my fingers and blend that out in the triangle motion underneath my eyes. I did not have my beauty blender next to me again, so or still, so I'm using my fingers. And I'm going to try that flat top kabuki brush. I'm going to take Max Pro Longwear Concealer again and put that under my eyes to really cover those dark circles. And I got sick of not having my Beauty Blender so I went and got it. So I'm going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender. And I'm taking Studio Care Blend Powder from MAC and I'm just going to set all the concealer under my eyes. And then I'm going to take a little bit on my powder brush and just blend out my foundation. Now I'm taking Hoola Bronzer again and this angled fluffy brush from Sephora and I'm going to contour my cheeks and my forehead. Cheeks, forehead. Now I'm going to blend it out. The, found the Estee Lauder uh, Double Wear Foundation is a little bit of a thicker foundation so the pigment really sticks so I had to do a lot of blending with my bronzer. So I'm going to take my powder brush and really blend it out because that one's a little bit more of a densely packed brush and blends better than that fluffy brush. Much better. Now I'm going to contour my jawline just a bit and brush through my eyebrows. I'm going to take my Anastasia Brow Wiz in soft brown and draw out the outer corner and darken, out that, darken up the outer corner of my eyebrows and kind of define the arch underneath my brows. And 
and use the spoolie brush on the other end to brush through. Now I'm going to take this liner brush from Sephora and Max Embark, sorry I forgot to show the camera, and just fill in my eyebrows. Embark is just a warm brown color to bring a little bit of the red that I have in my hair into my brows. Now I'm taking Anastasia Clear Brow Gel and just setting my brows. And the blush I'm going to use today is this kind of pinky peach color from the Beautifully Disney line and my blush brush from Sephora. Blush brush, that's a hard phrase to say. I'm going to put that all over my cheeks. You don't want a super pink, pink, pink blush when you're going to be doing a red lip. It kind of clashes. So try a little bit of a peach one or even if you have one that's kind of a bronze shade, not bronzer, but if it's like a really warm, dusty pink, that would look good too. I'm going to take NARS Larger Than Life in Via Veneto and tight line my waterline. And then I'm going to do my lower waterline also. And then I'm going to take this pen style liner. This one is from NARS. And I'm going to do my wing. So to do the wing, you're going to draw your first line from where you want your wing to end down to the corner of your eye. And then you're just going to kind of swoop that down and follow it along your lash line so that it, the top and the bottom line meet and then just fill in the rest of your lash line. I have said this before but I will say it again, these pen style liners make the world or a world of difference when you're trying to do a winged liner. It is so much easier than a liquid liner or even a gel. It just makes it way, way easier. So if you're having trouble, try that. Now I'm going to take this liner brush and carbon from MAC, it's just a matte black color. And I'm just going to dab that black shadow over my liner just to kind of set it. This will also help smooth out any imperfections that you drew on there with the liner. Now I'm going to take Hula Bronzer and that same liner brush and just kind of define my lower lash line. Then I'm going to take Mary Luminizer from the Balm and highlight my cheeks because we all know how much I like my highlighters. And then I'm going to go down the center of my face. Look at the light catch that. Now I'm going to take Maybelline's The Rocket and do my bottom lashes. And one layer on my top. We're going to put some lashes on so I don't need it to be super precise. I'm just trying to get a coat on my lashes. These are the lashes I'm going to be using. I don't, they weren't in the package anymore. I don't remember what I used. And I'm going to use the Duo uh, and it kind of exploded. It. I did not film doing my lashes. I will do another video if you guys would like to see that. But ta-da, I have lashes on. Now I'm going to take this Bite Lipstick. It's in the color Cranberry and it is my favorite red. I love, love, love this red lipstick. It was in the holiday package that I got from Bite, but I do believe that you can buy it in the regular size also. Never mind my dog walking around behind me. It looks weird because I kept cutting the scene and he's like hopping up, popping up everywhere. I'm just fussing with my lipstick, trying to get it all perfect. And that is the completed look. Like I said, it's not a ton of steps. It's pretty easy because the focus is on the eyeliner, the lashes, and the lips. And it just looks super glam. And I really like this look. I hope you guys like it. And thanks for watching. And like I said, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.